What's up, Empire Nation? Gerald here. Uh, Nick will be joining me in this video. We're going to be alternating throughout this video, so it's a good chance to see both of us. Um, and this is going to be deciding if Amazon is actually the right business for you because a lot of people online are talking about Amazon like it's a get-rich-quick kind of thing where you can go zero to a million in like the matter of a month or two. But we've got to be realistic with you guys. Uh, we're always going to keep it real and kind of break down what are the benefits of starting Amazon FBA business and what are kind of like the downsides of it. Um, so let's get right into this video. Before we get into this video, I want to let you guys know right, right now there is in the description a code for an Amazon coupon or an Amazon uh, gift card. Now we're going to be doing this for all our future videos, so make sure you turn on that bell because the first person to our videos that can copy and paste that code into their account will get that money. It's going to be anywhere between five dollars to a hundred. It just depends on the day. So point number one for this video is you need time uh, to start this Amazon FBA business like any other business in the world you're going to need a lot of time not just to manage it because once the managing once you're at the managing point it's uh, a little bit easier but the time that you're going to spend is all up front that's studying researching finding out um, all the little tips and tricks all the nitty nitty gritty details that go into your Amazon product your Amazon finding a product talking to suppliers getting the best prices you know uh, shipping creating a listing launching PPC the whole nine yards, you're gonna need to learn every single thing. Now, of course, this will be much easier if you get a course. Uh, we do have a course, link in the description, but it doesn't have to be our course. It could be any course in the world. Uh, it will kind of narrow down your time as opposed to searching through YouTube because Amazon, you gotta remember, it's an old, it's been around for a long time, so it's gonna be a lot of old information and you always gotta find that new information. So if you have at least three hours a day to search YouTube, to search forums and everything and learn all about it, then you're in you're you're in the good um, first point in your favor at least three hours a day uh, weekends you know you can stack that on um, and learn as much as you can so next point let's bring Nick on here alright guys so I think Gerald made it very clear that time is obviously of the essence when it comes to starting starting selling on Amazon um, I'm obviously very aware of that I spend a lot of time on my business I always have so I think another thing about selling on Amazon is very very important is patience now a lot of you guys obviously probably hear out there on YouTube that you know spending an hour a week an hour a month is probably good enough to you know run a successful you know multi you know thousand dollar business on Amazon and that's just not the case all right I know you can probably start a couple products and let it sit there and just let it flow and you know probably spend an hour a week managing those couple products obviously that works but when you're trying to build an Amazon business from the get-go off you know off off the ground it doesn't work quite that way and that's why I stress when somebody wants to take my course when somebody wants to you know work along with me I tell them you know you gotta spend the time if you want to spend the time I'm willing to help you right because I know when I started I spent the time and I think that's really really important when it comes down to Amazon FBA you can't expect to go from zero to a million within a couple of years it just doesn't go that way some people will some people it won't so sometimes it won't right I launched three products and it, I filled some people might launch the first product and make 10k in the first couple months right so when starting Amazon, you gotta be thick as nails, right? Because sometimes you just can't get that first home run product. And again, Gerald himself even launched a product and it didn't do so well. So I help him and he doesn't do so well. Maybe because he wasn't he didn't listen to me, but during starting Amazon and just the whole process, it's continually grind, grind, grind till you break through. And once you break through, that's when you start making the money and then it just you know becomes collateral goes one on top of the other and you keep building that business and that's when it starts to take off and that's kind of what I experienced in the last year um, but the year uh, you know a year ago um, that year uh, 2016 it definitely was a um, struggle for the first part of the year where I was trying to launch a product failed another product failed and you start to get down on yourself you start to you know get depressed you don't want to hang out because you're trying to figure out the issues going on with your business because it's all about you because you're not trying to make anybody else feel better, but it's about your business. So you gotta, you know, focus on. It. You gotta love the business. You gotta love the drive. The, the, you know, the hustle for it. That's what you gotta love. You can't just be there for the money because if it's just there for the money, then there's nothing you're gonna wake up the next morning to feel good for, right? When I wake up in the next morning, I don't go, yeah, let's do some product research. No, I like to see, you know, that build in the business. I go to my business and I'm like, okay, you know, I've grown a little bit. And that this pushes me to do my product research, obviously. Because maybe I don't like it, but I like to see the growth, and the growth makes me feel well. So 
Again, guys, I just want to stress that you got to be patient when starting Amazon. If you can't handle the patience, then this business isn't quite right for you. So now Gerald's going to move on to the next point. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. All right, so the next point here is do not be afraid to ask questions. Like I said, there's so much information on the web that it can just be, feel overwhelming, especially when you just are starting. You just type in Google Amazon FBA and you're just bombarded with a whole bunch of stuff. And especially when you're actually doing it and you're running into problems, you just can't find all these specialized answers to your questions um, online. You've got to ask people. So join forums, join Facebook groups. There's so many Facebook groups. Uh, go and talk to people and people like Nick like Nick's a seven-figure seller He will respond to you like straight up. Just ask him a question. He will get you a response and it's it's not hard But for a lot of people it is hard like we're get the courage to ask someone something You know, you don't want to feel embarrassed. You don't want to feel stupid uh, But in this business, especially it's an e-commerce business You've got to ask questions and like just learn as you go because as a student myself. I am no expert I'm asking questions all the time. Even Nick will even tell me, you're not asking enough questions. Like, how's your account doing? I haven't heard from you in a few days about your account. What's going on? And it's just, you know, you always got to be learning and always striving to get that next thing. So if you're someone that's like, oh, I don't want to reach out. Like, even if it's a, you don't have to do phone calls, right? So just, just type, just text behind the keyboard. Um, if you're too scared to do that, um, then maybe this is not your calling. All right, guys, so when it comes to asking questions, obviously, Creativity is one of those things that I love people asking me and I'm not because I'm a creative dude at all I'm not creative at all But when it comes to selling on Amazon you got to be somewhat creative and that's why I just use Google Google Helps me be creative. So when I'm you know finding products I'm looking for ways to differentiate from other sellers now I know some of you guys might be new to the business or might be already you know starting to sell haven't have ready one product up and going but Differentiation is the key to selling on Amazon you gotta be different than somebody else. So being creative, whether it might be selling, you know, a battery with a product. I know that's a bad analogy, but you can be selling, you know, two things together. But use strict, you know, actual driven, you know, ideas from Amazon. Driven, you know, data. You know, using the obviously the frequently bought together section. Use data that you know is proven. Don't just assume things. So if you're that person that's quick to action. That's probably not the best thing, but you can learn those things when starting Amazon. So I get the feeling when you start to think that, you know, maybe asking me the question about should I bundle this? 100%, right? You want to be able to be creative. So what I'm trying to say to you guys is be creative when trying to launch a product, you know, come up with different ideas, you know, even go out and ask your wife, well, what would you bundle maybe with a diaper? You know, what would you bundle with that, that diaper backpack? What would you bundle with that bottle, right? All these kind of things will help you kind of get with ideas. You know, I had this one product I launched and I was like, I don't know what to bundle. And then this person was, came to me and was like, you should probably bundle with that. And I was like, that is genius. Like, I didn't think about that, right? So if you don't open your mouth about that kind of stuff, you're kind of closing doors for yourself as well. So the more questions you ask, like Gerald said, the more you're gonna be exposed to more ideas. So again, like he said, ask questions, you know, be creative, obviously, like I said. And if you got any questions, obviously, feel reach out, feel free to reach out to me on Facebook. Um, I'm always available. Um, just DM me at Nicholas Bosch on Facebook or email info at everymansempire.com and I'll be more than happy to reach out to you. All right, so this point is about your mindset. Uh, now, when you're doing uh, Amazon, like Nick is talking about patience, uh, your mindset is gonna be a big part of that. And that is the consumer mindset versus the investor mindset. Now, the consumer mindset is all about spending money uh, to get things or stuff, right? Cars, shoes, whatever, clothes. Whereas the investor mindset, they look at spending the money uh, to get a return or putting that money to work for them. Uh, and that's what you're going to have, be seeing with your Amazon account. Now, this is not even Amazon specific. This is just general business. If you're starting any business, you're going to need to be thinking about this. And it's that you're not going to be getting paid out anytime soon. At least you shouldn't be paying yourself out anytime soon. All the profits you get from your account, you should be putting that back into more products, back into more products, back into more products, where this goes along, again, with patience, right? Because at the end of the day, that's how you get that exponential growth. You don't just get one product and then all of a sudden it sells 10K and then happy payday, you're done and that's it, right? You want to make that 10K go into something else, make it 20K, make you 40K, make you 80K, make you 100 and you know 60K, and that's how you get to Nick's level where he gets thousands upon thousands of dollars every single day uh, through Amazon. And this is because he didn't 
do his first three products fail, then have one good product, then all of a sudden go buy a Mercedes. It's just, it's that grind, right? It's, it's always grinding. You're gonna put your nose in it for like a year, uh, then you can start paying yourself out a little bit. But if you wanna see exponential growth, you need to have the investor mindset and not the consumer mindset. All right, so obviously the most important part of trying to sell on Amazon or trying to begin to start on selling on Amazon is capital, money. Money is very important obviously when trying to sell on Amazon. And there's a lot of different like answers out there on YouTube and different sources as well where people are saying, you can start with $500, you can start with $100, whatever it may be. Um, I'm gonna be very blunt with you guys. Um, I launched a lot of products and some of them are definitely cheap, but you gotta have enough units to sell because you wanna be able to um, be able to restock on time and stuff like that. You don't wanna run out of inventory, obviously. If you do run out of inventory, not the biggest issue. Uh, definitely hurts a lot. So you wanna kinda have enough. And then what I mean by enough is usually three to 400 units. And that's why I say $1,500 is kind of like the cutoff. Um, so if you're looking to get a course as well, it's going to cost you probably around $2,000 um, to get into it. Now, I understand that you may not have the money, but uh, that comes along with the mindset, obviously. When you're trying to sell on Amazon, uh, you shouldn't be able to quit your job right away. You shouldn't quit your job, obviously. When I started selling on Amazon, I was still working at the farm. I was there for six months yet until I you know, started making money on Amazon, obviously, and then slowly weaned off my farm job till I got into the Amazon business and started, you know, scaling up that way because my time was more valuable to my Amazon side than to my actual farm job, obviously, where I was getting paid an hourly wage at $21 an hour, uh, where Amazon wasn't an hourly wage. It was all based on how much work I put in, obviously. The more work, work I put in, the more return I got. With the farm, the more work I put in, it's just the more I got paid. That's simple as that. So once you get to that point, that's where you start to wean off the job. So if you don't have a job right now, if you're looking to gain some money, maybe you're in college, start, you know, maybe get some Fiverr posts going, maybe you get like a, you know, a listing, maybe sell some of your stuff from inside your house, whatever it may be, put some stuff on Craigslist, maybe get a job at McDonald's part-time, stuff like that, right? So if these things all fall in line for you, then definitely this is for you and I'm really excited for you guys. Definitely start Amazon FBA. It's a really great business. It's not competitive like people say, um, you know, I still find a lot of products to start selling on Amazon. So if again, this is for you, definitely, you know, go ahead, do whatever you gotta do to get started. And you know, if you guys wanna get started and get a little bit of jump start, there is a link down below for our course as well. Um, it's 397 obviously, but besides that all, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys did, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, that'd be great. Uh, I know the notification squad is always there to smash that like button. So. Awesome to you guys. I really appreciate you guys all. And I hope you guys turn on notification bells for the Amazon coupon, obviously. So I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video as well as live stream. Have a good day.